but let's get into like something that's, you know, Peter Jackson is in this episode. And, you know, when, when people criticize the show, I go, do you realize the greatest filmmakers in the history of this business all came on this show because they liked it. They didn't that come one, on it for money. That one dropped out of nowhere for yeah, me today. Yeah. That was a nice little thing. And of course, Doug looked and I great like, too. Doug and I go, "Does anything ever come on that storyline?" I'm like, "I don't know, dude. We have <laughs> no idea. We have no idea." I don't idea. think we ever mentioned it again because, by the way, so Peter Jackson is only in- time ever in Entourage history. This one time that we dropped something like no, that. No, that you're that you're gonna tell. Didn't Peter Peter Jackson's in New twice, Zealand twice? Peter Jackson's in New Zealand doing. Peter Jackson's in New Zealand. We find that he likes the show. And he'll do it, but A, he wants to shoot it at his real <laughs> company because he's got a real gaming company. And he's like, B, I'll just send you the footage. Yeah, and B, I'll make it. You know, we actually had three times where that happened. I mean, Peter Bird. Peter right. Bird shot something? Yeah, well, he was, he was not with us. He was somewhere else. Like, um, he was on the, another B side of a phone call, and he was And not he shot with it us. himself? Yeah. So, um, Scarlett Johansson. Like right. we oh, had, that was the first one. Scarlett we had Johansson. no one on our crew anywhere near Scarlett it was Johansson. Just a camera guy. And 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 again, I don't mean to criticize the guy because he doesn't know our show. But I almost cried you when I like saw the shot. shot. Yeah. The shot with the giant American flag behind her and shooting her from under her chin. No, I didn't like the shot at all. I. But when Peter Jackson calls and says, "Listen, I got it." And by the way, I'm going to send you the footage when it's done. And by I, the way, I did the other I side of the phone call. It. Right, you got it. You're like, holy shit, he's got dudes. Oh, it's better sword than sword fighting. Yeah, but also you could see how it it animated. That's 18 years ago. You could see how they were fighting, and you saw it on the CG. screen at the same time. It, it was he a- sent all of those assets. He just got them one day and just yes. slid it into the back of the. And phone by the call. way, didn't even. I don't even think. I think I had like a three minute conversation with Peter Jackson. It wasn't like I got to. Listen, I want you to bring a you lot get to of uh, pick his brain. He's <laughs> yeah. like, I got something planned. Yeah, and like great, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. The other time that happened, which was the scariest- so we got Scarlet. Pete Berg, I remember. Uh, Peter Jackson, and who else? And then the scariest ever. S- Scorsese? Yeah, which maybe we talked about on this podcast. Today. I don't think we did yet. This was the worst ever. So Matt Damon tells me that Bono wants to come back on the show and do something for the charity. And I write the script, and we film the episode with LeBron and Matt Damon. And Matt Damon, ta- or who, yeah, Matt Damon talks to Bono on uh, FaceTime. And we don't have Bono. And Matt, who I swear to you, I mean, the guy is a star for a reason. But Matt on this set, I thought like we were friends for life. I mean, this guy was talking about my writing. I'm like, we're going to make movies together. We're going to be doing this. The guy had like, fuck these losers. (laughs) Just get out of here. Let me do born (laughs) ultimatum. You know, did I ever tell you that when a guy came running up to me in a garage once and he's like, Doug, Doug, Doug. And I'm like, what's up? He's like, I'm such a huge fan. I was like, wow. He's like, fucking born identity. I'm like, I'm not Doug Lyman. I'm <laughs> Doug Allen, whatever. I don't, I don't even know how he confused us, but that happened. But so, so Matt actually had an Ari Gold monologue memorized verbatim and said, nobody writes like this in TV. Anyway, uh, I have to say this now not to be a narcissist because some jerk off says I'm a narcissist and mean to colleague. Because it made me qualities. feel it made me feel very good. It made me feel very nice. So yeah, but, of course Matt Damon's do you have cuts? But anyway, I thought Matt and I will have it'll be Matt, Ben and I from now on. You know, like fuck that's gonna be the Connelly thing. Yeah. And fucking <laughs> the jerk off, <laughs> me, I think Matt you, can play Johnny Drama. Me and you and Ben. By the way, let's read this. Fucking. Matt's Vince, Casey's fucking uh, <laughs> uh drama. So so then we're we're done. We ten days until the episode is aired, and I have no idea how I'm supposed to contact Bono. You know, and I'm like asking Brian. But Burns, what you need his side of the footage. I need his side of the phone call. He has to talk to. Uh, he has to talk to the screen and whatever their conversation. And all was. you need is just like whatever, just anything. Well, now I'll tell you, it's not just anything. So anyway, I email Matt Damon. You know, who I expect a quick. Tarted, uh, a quick response. I get nothing. He's nothing, like, nothing. This How'd this guy get my email? <laughs> pa- panic starts setting in. I have no idea what to do. And then Will McDonough, who I believe, I think Will McDonough got us Tom Brady. No, Mark got us Tom Brady. I'm sorry. Um, but he came with, with Tom. He was a friend of Tom's. Will McDonough's like friends with Gretzky's buddy, right? Yeah, Gretzky? I guess I met Will through uh, Tom, I guess. I don't know. But anyway... Somehow I tell Will I'm in this bad spot and I wasn't looking for help. And he goes, I swear to God, he goes, oh, I'm going to Dublin for the U2 concert tomorrow. Just give me the script. I'll get it done. Oh and I'm God. looking at this guy like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Like I need like, desperate times required yeah. desperate measures. So anyway, he leaves. I'm, so like one of Brady's boys is like, yeah, bro, send me the script. I'll have him record it. Yeah. And, and by the for way, HBO. Yeah. And by the way, it gets to the point where I have no option. Season four too. Like. I am going to show, we're going to put this clip on, uh, on, on this segment. Cause it's so freaking awesome. But anyway, 
Will's going to the concert. I speak to him from Ireland. I don't remember if we text at that point or phones. I don't know how that works, or what, what year this is, 2000, whatever. And he, he says, concert's tonight, okay? You'll wake up in the morning, you'll have it. Now, by the way, he's not even telling me that he's friends with Bono or that he spoke to him. Just he's got great seats and he's going to make this happen. I wake up in the morning and I have an email, okay? And it is a video of Bono doing this dialogue. And it's what could have happened with Peter Jackson, except for Peter Jackson's like an all-time filmmaker. And Academy Award He winner. understood how he, sh- how he should talk to actors. But Bono, who I believe I was told is a fan of the show, knows the show. He this, did a couple things for it, so he must have some reference. But this video looked like he had no idea what was happening. So he's talking to Vince. And I, I wish I watched this footage before I saw it, but I have it at my house. He, I wake up, and he is like, Vincent Chase. And, and is he in a, into a phone? Is it he, a phone? Or he's on like a, camera talking to FaceTime. Okay. So he's doing what he's supposed to do, but he's doing it at a pace that would be like four and a half minutes to do whatever that little phone call is. And he's doing it in, uh, again, U2, one of my favorite bands, Bono, one of my Peter idols. Peter Jackson understands pace a little <laughs> bit better, scene pace. I, I, I don't know what happened, but I... Honestly, was like I don't even know what I'm going to do. I mean, we this is airing in like a week, ten days, and this and that. And I had to call Will McDonough and go, I need another take. I need to get on the phone with Bono. I need 90 seconds to talk to him, just to give him what I need. But uh, when I'm Let saying me ask you this, this, if you you obviously you pulled it off. If you couldn't pull it, if you didn't pull it off, would you have been able to cut a version with the other video? No, no. <laughs> I've no. never heard this story. No. This is great. No way. It was like unusable, that first unusable, video. Unusable. Okay? It would be and like- And you have it. By the way, it would be the equivalent- It's like, this is a different show. It like, would be right. the equivalent of you get to the U2 concert, and instead of Bono, it's me singing up there. Right. Okay? It's not usable. Okay? One million percent, and, and it'll be usable it for like this- you had a couple cocktails? Because it was funny. It was funny for something else. But what was so awesome is I am in a complete panic, and I tell Will we need another take, but I'm saying this like there's no way this is ever going to happen. I don't even know how he made this happen in the first place. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm like, I need to talk to him for two minutes. Just right. get me on the phone. And he did, and we got it. And Hello, and Doug. It was great. <laughs> it was great. Hello, Doug. It was yeah, awesome. I'm, mate, you know, I was the last time around. I was just coming off stage. Yeah, that's definitely not Irish. How was that? I think that's, I don't know if it's British or bad Australian. I don't know. It's 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 terrible. But anyway, that was an amazing story. And I, I, by the way, just so we can clearly understand this, I'm not criticizing anything about Bono. He got a piece of paper. No. He was was, asked to talk into a camera. Nice of him. He probably, but he probably didn't even know what the hell he was doing. He's done, did two episodes for us for free. (laughs) Yeah. 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 So Bono falls into the, uh, and gave us those tickets. We got all those those tickets. tickets. But I mean, the Peter Jackson thing, again, I don't know how I didn't see that coming. And you're right, Doug. I don't think that goes anywhere. Maybe yeah. something, but no, but yeah, Vince doesn't end up doing a Peter Jackson movie. That was a really nice, uh, nice little, nice little touch. And I remember when I remember you saying, "Yeah, I'm waiting for him. He was just going to shoot it." And I mean, think about the Academy Award-winning filmmakers on the show: Scorsese. Did he send you a bunch of sh- like a bunch of angles? Do you remember? Was it multi? You know, was it multiple angles? I mean, it was a phone call, right? I don't think he. Did we all- send him my end of the phone call first? I don't remember, but I don't think he left a lot of room for us to... The scissors? Edit. He he made sure. And He's by the like, way... trust me. It was perfect, but Conley, They're not going to be able to cut this. Conley, think about it, though. Scorsese, Cameron, Van Zandt, Darabont. Um, I know I'm leaving out... M. Night. M. Night. I mean... Like, these are the best filmmakers in the world who all wanted to be on, on the show, yeah. which is... All, and by the way, didn't get paid for it. Right. And it's just awesome. 